uh, I am uh, PBN Madhav from Vishakapatnam. So, I am a present MLC graduate from uh, Vishakapatnam North Coast Landra that comprises around 34 assembly constituencies and 3 uh, revenue districts. I am a cost accountant and MBA graduate and uh, I have been working in social work from last uh, 25 years. After my graduation, I started working among the people, done lots of activity in uh, sustainable development, livelihood studies and worked uh, around the country, went to almost all the clusters where lot of unorganized sector works. So, that is the area of interest to me. And besides that, I am a practicing cost accountant and a, a management consultant. Uh, our constituency is North Coast Andhra, which is called Uttar Andhra. Uh, it is a backward districts of Andhra Pradesh. So, the two districts which have come in as an aspirational district, Vijayanagaram and Vishakhapatnam. Many of you may know that uh, Vishakhapatnam is a bubbling city which is called financial capital of Andhra Pradesh, but the rural Vishakhapatnam is a very backward district where the literacy rate, uh, the agriculture productivity rate and also other uh, indicators uh, show a negative uh, growth rate in our area and uh, similarly Vijayanagaram, two districts of the three districts are backward. So, uh, these two districts are named as an aspiration districts as in the Prime Minister's program of converting 100 uh, districts into develop, development districts. So, this is a big challenge for us also as a legislatures to work in these areas of development. And uh, our area has uh, highest rainfall, but unfortunately, uh, the time the rain comes and it goes into sea, the minimal time because the eastern guards and the land between is called North Coast Landra. So, there are around 10 rivers, but in spite of having so many rivers, uh, the water which is being drained out into the sea cannot be stopped. There's lots of lakes which are not get connected properly. We have Godavari on one side and Mahanadi on the other side. So, the connectivity between Godavari and Mahanadi will definitely solve all the problems in my area. So, this is a main feature of our area and it is also culturally very old civilization uh, and the civilization roots are also can be found in this area where we can have uh, according to Hindu mythology, the oldest avatars are found in our area, the Matsa, Kurma or Varaha avatara. All the temples are Deities of these temples are there only in our part because nowhere you will be finding these uh, deity temples. So, that kind of a cultural uh, uh, heritage we have, a very long history of uh, Kalinga dynasty being ruled over there. So, it is a culturally very old uh, area and also uh, development indicators show a backwardness. So, because of this, lots of labor migrate from our area to throughout the globe and our labor are uh, very high skilled people because they do lots of activity uh, in the agriculture area, in construction area. They are found not just in India, they are found elsewhere in main, especially in Gulf and almost uh, during the days of colonial rule. All these people were taken into Southeast Asia, as far as Guyana and Suriname also these people were taken. All the farmers in West Indies also have roots in our place and uh, uh, the Singapore is a country which was built by the people of Uttarandra. This is a legacy that goes on. This is the history of our uh, place and my conscience. Uh, Indian democracy is the most vibrant de democracy. Unfortunately, we do not have an iota of knowledge of the divergent culture, the divergent practices the country has. The same kind of a uh, ecosystem is there in our democracy. We have a divergent parties which, uh, which have a, a different viewpoints and different things. And because of these uh, divergent parties, uh, the culture of our democracy is also completely diverse. Uh, sometimes the uh, public opinion uh, is not represented uh, through this forum also. So, there is lots of uh, un undemocratic practices that are also been in place. We can see lots of small parties coming into power, though they are not the uh, uh, highest representatives of the public uh, mandate, uh, like what happened in Karnataka. Third, a party which is coming in third place having uh, 25 MLAs, uh, the party's uh, chief becoming the chief minister, not just in Karnataka, almost everywhere, in even in union government also, small representatives coming into big places, sometimes makes a question about uh, the kind of uh, democratic practice we have. So, even though 
because of uh, divergent views coming together and having its flows and this sustained for so long. It's a hallmark of our democracy. Definitely, uh, we'll be looking, the world should look, look at our India, the kind of free speech we have, the kind of uh, uh, activity that each party ha can do and uh, the lot of activity that's happening. We I open it to one and all and the world should emulate Indian practices where only two party system or a single party system, dictatorial system of democracy is in practice. There's lots of highs and lows in my political career. When I've uh, been active from 2003, I've been uh, doing lots of uh, activity uh, about uh, the livelihood studies of the fishermen who are being displaced. Ours is the highest coastline. We have a thousand kilometers coastline. It's the highest coastline in the entire country. So, lots of fishermen getting displaced is uh, disheartening to us. So, lots of development projects are also coming on the coastline like the ports or the big uh, uh, SC jets are coming in place. Because of that, the fishermen are getting displaced. Their livelihood is being going. No alternative uh, mechanism will can fulfill the fishermen life because fishermen are the person who are independent. Uh, they go on to see, have the catch, come back and the uh, women folk uh, sell the uh, uh, fish in the market. This kind of a activity which is driven out, no kind of a activity can compensate it. So, the livelihood of a fisherman cannot be seen in kind of a, some kind of a grant to be given or some kind of a job being provided to them. It should be a holistic vision about how to replace a fisherman. So, they did not happen. So, we, I, we had a uh, fight with almost all the uh, pharmaceutical companies, SC jets and ports, but uh, of uh, very small success. But recently, there are around eight villages where the fishermen have been displaced by defense project. We met the defense minister and also the government and narrated the whole story how uh, the fishermen are the uh, <coughs> original citizens of this nation, how uh, through them the, all cities have grown. And after narrating a whole of thing and the, uh, all the woes of the fishermen were told to the government, immediately they did not take out their livelihood. They are compensated and their livelihood is also met. And a jetty was built in a nearby area and all the fishermen are now doing fishing and as well as getting compensation or displaced, but they are not, did not leave, uh, leave their livelihood. So, sustaining their livelihood is, uh, I think, one of the great achievements which we have done in my career. And apart from this, lots of uh, trade union activists, uh, trade union, especially the employees who work, the contract labor are looking for a permanent job. So, lots of permanent jobs have been created out of the contract work. The streaming of selection and uh, absorbing into the system. Uh, so, we were able to do it in some organizations like in uh, defense establishment in Vishakhapatnam shipyard. We have uh, uh, absorbed uh, people who are in contract basis and permanent basis. This uh, the mechanism should be driven out and similarly in state governments, people are taken on part time and contract basis. But uh, there should be a uh, a kind of recruitment process. Uh, the system should be in such, after working for some time, they should be absorbed in the system. That kind of a system we brought in our place. So, all these things gives immense happiness to us uh, when we <coughs> uh, deliver things, when all these things, uh, legislature comes in the area. Definitely, it uh, gives lots of happiness to us. My father is also a political figure, he is a trade union leader and also twice legislature and I look upon him as a person who works tirelessly for the drone trodden and uh, from since my childhood, my father P. V. Chalaputrao is a <coughs> idol for me and apart from him, I have seen lots of national leaders in my party, political party like Advani ji, Venkaya ji and also Marli Manohar Joshi but I worked closely with uh, Dharmin uh, Pramod Mahajanji in Mumbai. I worked in Rambo Malgi Prabhodini, one of his organization which he started. And uh, uh, I have seen how uh, Pramod Mahajanji is to do homework before uh, he goes out uh, for his parliament or uh, go, goes out to speak in a public meeting. So, kind of hard work, nobody knows the kind of hard work each politician does. Uh, everybody thinks he just comes out and makes a speech and go off. But uh, lots of hardships of uh, the journey of uh, almost all the politicians which I have seen closely because uh, my political, my party is now at the uh, helm of affairs. But uh, the journey of lots of politicians including our Prime Minister is full of hardships. 
so the, the long, long, journey is long and lots of hardships and they got the pivotal role after doing uh, lots of uh, uh, dedicated hard work over the years all of them are inspirations to me and all the legacies with the history when we uh, read about so many politicians right from uh, dr b r ambedkar jigjivan uh, also lot uh, putti sri ramulu ji is also an inspiration for us because he fought for the rights of uh, andrades and uh, he has uh, given his life uh, fast unto death so these people are also there lots of inspiration definitely there are lots of freedom fighters who definitely inspired uh, us and there are lot of things which from each one of life we can take and emulate i i request every youth who is uh, educated and has a vision uh, for working for the round trodden should come into politics politics is a area um, which is uh, should be a first option for almost all the bright students and uh, uh, in politics we are lack of uh, who are educated who are dynamic not coming to politics because they think uh, politics is not a sphere where we can work definitely it's a great area to serve the country and almost all the legislatures the policy making is done through legislation and uh, every part every uh, uh, part of our life is being affected by policy making so right from uh, the village to the country level every small decision is being done through legislature so being a legislator will definitely help you in delivering so many thoughts and uh, things that you want to do so definitely i request each youth to come forward and join politics and be uh, a man of difference or woman of difference mm -hmm.